Okay, I'm gonna do a video blog. I haven't done one in forever. Well, actually, I, well, I did a blog a couple of them, but they were just like on MySpace and uh, uh, Facebook, I think. You just can't type a blog on YouTube. So YouTube people just got screwed out of a blog. It wasn't that great of a blog anyway. It was just me bitching and whining and moaning about my life. So, yeah, it wasn't that fun anyway. But there's been a, a lot, a lot going on in the last few days. Uh, start with something interesting, kind of unique. Um, I was talking to one of my friends the other day, Josie, and she told me she had like an awesome day. And yeah, it was really good. I was really happy for her. She went to get her coffee, and the guy gave it to her for free. So obviously, you know, it's so it's always nice to get free coffee. Uh, and then she got some good news at school, and then uh, her teacher thinks she's a genius or something, which is awesome. And then um, this is this is what I found really really interesting. Uh, she went to get her uh, something to eat at McDonald's. She pulls up or something to pay for her food, and they're like, you don't have to pay. Huh? What? And they're like, yeah, the person in front of you paid for your food. She had no idea who it was. Just whoever was up there, they pulled up there and said, yeah, I want to pay for my food and the person behind me. So they paid for her food. That was really cool. So it was like one of them pay it forward things, I guess. I don't know. So, you know. And then I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I could use something like that to my advantage because I need to cut down on the fast food. I mean, I, I don't get a bunch when I go there. Like, if I go to McDonald's, I'll get two double cheeseburgers and, like, a large diet drink. And that'll be my meal. You know? But still, the fast food is just bad. So, you know, I thought about, well, if I go to fast food, I wonder if, you know, if I could do the, yeah, I'll pay for mine and the person behind me. You know, yeah, it'd be nice for them, but and it's not really an altruistic thing I'm doing. It's more of a, if I know every time I go get fast food, I gotta pay for mine and the person behind me, I'm not so likely to go get fast food. See? So I can use paying for the person behind me as a deterrent to go get fast food. And I need to get me some more Listerine because I've noticed, you know what? If you don't want to eat a lot of food before you eat dinner, before you eat lunch, before you eat anything, Take a huge swig of Listerine, swish it around, spit it out. You know what? Everything tastes like crap after you've had some Listerine. You know? And it's easier to lose weight that way because who wants to eat nasty food? But if you're starving, you'll still eat just enough to not be starving and then you'll quit because it tastes like crap. So. So. But. <coughs> let's see what else. Uh. uh found out Steve's my, uh, bro, my our buddy. He's kind of like a brother, really. <coughs> sometimes I call him Chris, sometimes I call him Steve's. There's the one and the same. But I uh, found out that he's having a baby. Well, he's not actually having a baby. His wife's having a baby. He's just along for the ride. <coughs> but, yeah, I think they're, they're pretty happy, and I'm excited for them. That's awesome. Everybody's having a baby. Jamie's sister just had a baby. So, everybody's having babies but me. I don't have no babies. I have no babies. I think it'd be cool to have a baby. Babies are just, I don't know, they're just awesome. <clears throat> so, but, I don't know, it'd be cool to be a dad. I think that'd be awesome. I don't know. So, uh, what else? Uh, I worked last... Ooh. Excuse me. I worked my butt off the last couple of days. My feet are killing me. I actually got bruises on the top of my feet from where I've stood on so much. And I wore Sunday, man. I wore these shoes. I, they were newer shoes. I thought this would be great. New shoes. Be on my feet all day. Be work. Uh uh. uh. Them shoes were like sitting down, or actually, they were set up as like a medieval torture device by Satan himself. Okay? If you ever want to torture someone, put them in these shoes and make them stand all day. They will be begging you to let them take the shoes off. Okay? Seriously. These shoes were like medieval. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was horrible. But, uh, then, you know, whatever. So, last night I, uh, I go home and I watch, there's two shows I watch on Monday night. Prison Break, which, come on, it's Prison Break. Who doesn't love Prison Break? I mean, come on. Uh, it's got the one girl, I don't know, I can't remember her own name. The, the Gretchen girl, the hot girl, the evil girl. Woo! Smoking! And then the, uh, 
the Latino Hispanic, I'm, I'm not sure what she is, girl. The one, the other one that's helping, you know, the brother outside. Wow. Okay, I mean, seriously, wow. Okay, huh. I mean, that's not why I watched the show. I watched the show because I thought it sounded interesting, and then I just got addicted to it. Okay, what else? And then, uh, oh, oh, oh. And then I watched Sarah, the Terminator, Sarah Connor Chronicles. Hello! That show is awesome. And, you know, that's uh, got Summer Glau, Blue, what, Glau, whatever her name is. That's the girl from um, Serenity. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was on Sci-Fi Forever. Then they made the movie called Serenity. And, God, man. She's, like, so, so pretty. She's absolutely a beautiful woman. Okay. Uh, that's just amazing. Plus, it's got robots and time travel and futuristic, all kinds. It's just it's awesome. Okay, awesome. And then, uh, I watched a show the other day called Juno. Uh, you know, somehow I got a hold of a copy. I don't know. It's all, um, hey, I don't know, okay? It just someone said, hey, you want to watch this? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I watched it at home. Uh, but, okay, I'll tell you right now. I'm, I, you know, just to be even, I'm going to go watch it at the movies, just because I want to see it again. I want to see it on the big screen, because the movie's always better on the big screen. I just got to find someone to go with me, because you can't go watch a chick flick by yourself if you're a guy. That's just wrong, man. People will be looking at you, be pointing, having little conversations about you. I, I know what be going on, okay? It's one thing to go see, like, uh, you know... You know, like some slasher, horror film, action. You know, I could go see Rambo, the new Rambo, by myself. And no one say a word. But I go see a chick flick. And people are like, ooh, something wrong. Little booty. But so, you know, but whatever. But it's got Ellen Page in it. And she does a tremendous, tremendous job. And it's got the one girl. He's playing Ellis. Can't remember her name. Garner. Something Garner. Uh, she play, she plays a very short but extremely good part. It's not it's like something she would normally do, but uh, awesome role. But Ellen Page did an absolute amazing job in this show. I love her sarcasm in this show. It's just great. Go watch Juno. Okay, seriously, watch Juno. Uh, what else? I don't know, man. This is. I thought I just saw a spaceship. But it was just a light that wasn't all the way out. It was like a street light that was kind of blinking and jittering and something. I thought it was a spaceship, man. I was starting to get all excited. I was like, yeah. So, anyway, I don't know. All right, well, that's my blog. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.